Hey friends, welcome to Searching and Fearless Tarot. Today we are going to be doing just an energy reading. I didn't want to do specific signs because this is such a tough week. Um, I just feel like this could resonate with a lot of people and I don't want to just put it down to three signs. Um, that's just what I'm feeling for today. So let's see, let's get into it. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for another day not promised. Thank you for the love, kindness, and wisdom you share with us. We are nothing without it or you. Please help me to connect to my YouTube collective. What do they need to know for their highest good and the highest good of all involved? Please help me connect to my YouTube collective. What do they need to know for the highest good and the highest good of all involved for this week? Excuse me. Damn. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys could be, I'm seeing the Knight of Swords reversed here, and this is the energy of all talk, no action. Um, for a lot of you, you feel burnt out from something. You're wanting the truth from something or from someone. Um, yeah, this feels like you're, <clears throat> like you're burnt out from wanting the truth from somebody. <clears throat> What's this Ace of Wands? Um, a lot of you, a lot of you feel like your passion is with this particular person. And mind you, it doesn't have to be a partner. Um, it could just be a friend, uh, or it could be a family member that you're really close with. But either way, it's like you feel like without them, your passion is gone. Um, like you don't have any zest for life is what I'm hearing in my head. Um, I'm seeing indecision here or being tired of the indecision um, and strength reversed. I feel like you feel like you're not strong enough to move forward without them. Like you can't, you can't find, you can't find the color in life without them is what I'm hearing. But a lot of you, because you're holding on to this past and you're not focusing on yourself and the things that need to be done, you're not healing. You're not healing. With the three of swords, it's like you, you have this bright, bright future ahead of you um but with the star reversed and the page of cups reversed this is the classic card of someone who gives 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 to other people and never receives anything in return because they don't know how to fill up their own cup because they only care about what the people around them think and that's a problem that's the issue that you're headed up against i'm sure you're well aware of this i'm not like peekabooing some issue you don't know about <laughs> But your cards look good though. Like it's it's funny. Um, you're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles uh, in the upright position, so you're stable. Um, <clears throat> you just feel in balance because you feel like people aren't giving back, and that's hard for you. Let me clarify the seven or the Six of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Or maybe it could just mean that you're unbalanced in that area and it's really hard for you. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who feels like they need to be happy all the time. Uh, someone who feels like they need to be this joyous person who's messing around and um, just everyone else's light. But you're everybody else's light for you. You're the light for everybody else but yourself. And that's the problem that you're running into. And that's why it's... It's obvious that it's that's why you're feeling like someone else is going to have the answer or someone else is going to save you from this feeling of depression. But you have to find where it's rooted. It's important for you to find where it's rooted. <sighs> okay, what's on your mind? Spirit is on your mind. Okay. A lot of you feel injustice right now and you feel like you had to sacrifice something or someone sacrificed you for answers. You had to let go of the growth of a situation. This could have been the growth of a relationship or a job. Um, whatever it is, though, it, 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 was, it was suppressing you. And not, not the relationship itself, but the feeling that the unusual feelings... It was like you were wanting this to grow when the other person was needing to find themselves in their own direction. And a lot of you guys are focusing on... 
the different options that could happen in the lost opportunity. I feel like a lot of you guys are going back in time and saying to yourselves, like, I wish I would have done this better or, you know, what's, what's the option that I could talk to this person or um, when this needs to be let go of. And this is what you're, this is why I felt like I needed to not do signs. Um, this person that you're after could be a water sign, sun, moon, rising. Um, that would be P Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's like, there. I don't, I don't know what it is about this week, but it feels like this is the true death of whatever it is. And it has to be, it has to be because you're so stuck. You're so stuck. It feels like you're in between two brick walls. And really, it's it's affecting the entire perspective that you have moving forward. And that's why Spirit's wanting you to become more independent and understand that if you're trying to watch a pot boil, it's it's going to take a lot longer than if you just walk away from it and let it boil, simmer for a little bit. <sighs> this competition you're feeling is because you don't understand your own strength. This fighting that you're feeling, this fighting feeling of someone else being your answer or someone else being your be all end all or your your absolute happiness and you don't know what you would do without them that's because you don't know your own strength you're not you're not seeing your own strength and until you see your own strength you're not going to be able to see this properly and heal from this properly and find your passion you need to find your truth It's like you're expressing yourself in a very masculine way. And I feel like that's why all your cards are showing up well. It's not that you're not functional or, you know, nothing like that. I'm talking to somebody who outwardly is incredibly independent. You may make your own money. You may be in your own apartment. You may all, all of this stuff or house or whatever. But I'm talking to somebody who is codependent emotionally with, with a relationship. And understanding that you need to move forward. I've got the sun reversed, the eight of wands, and temperance. Some of you have had to move in order to heal. Others of you are isolating um, and just trying to move forward and looking for answers. Be careful about isolating yourself um, because it's nice to have another perspective to bounce off of. Um, I feel like with the Hierophant here and Justice reversed and the Six of Swords reversed, I feel like it would be a good idea for you guys to either get a reading or to get a, um, like a private reading or to go to a counselor or to go to somebody who can professionally help you move forward and professionally help you see this in a new light. Because this 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 self worth issue is gonna make you keep running paycheck to paycheck, or feeling like you're not meeting the right people, or not being seen in the proper way. Um, there's a need to let go of how this person sees you and how this person is living their life right now in order for you to live yours, and to not worry about whether you'll come back together or not. Because if he if they're meant for you, they will come back. But this isn't a time for you to mull over the relationship or exactly what the person is doing. Or um, this is a time for you to find your independence. And the less that you do that, the more you're going to get into this feeling of wanting to obsess with what the other person is doing. Right? Keep in mind, it's not about you being weird. It's not about this being weird. Nothing like that. It's about you caring about other people. Okay. So take the person that I'm talking about off the table and just in general, in life, how have you felt with people? Have you ever truly felt like you can be emotionally independent on your own, that you don't need a relationship or that you can be independent, interdependent with other people? This is an emotional dependence I'm talking about. What's the outcome, Spirit? What's the outcome? It feels like you're so close to there, though. So please don't take this reading as like, 
oh my god you fucked up and you got no nothing like that it feels like you're so close to there it really really does okay so if this is a particularly hard week for you i'm so sorry i'm sending you hugs and love um but just know that this is happening for your highest good and please on your darkest moments remember that know that you're loved know that you're not alone okay i promise what's the outcome spirit because I, I feel like moving forward, I knew it. I knew it. Honestly, you guys, I feel like whatever you're doing, you're doing the right thing and I'm confirming it for you. And I know that this is really difficult and maybe maybe you've been screaming, if, if you're still watching this, maybe you've been screaming at the reading, I have been trying to get over this person. What the fuck? You know, I don't know what to do. You are. Just give it time. Give it time, my friend. Give it time and put in effort into yourself. And the things in yourself that you'll start to see growing, you're going to start to live in an entirely different way. And it doesn't mean you've forgotten this person. And it doesn't mean that there's not a possibility of you guys getting back together in time. But in this time, this is what the focus is supposed to be. Let your creativity out. Let your inner child out. If you have children around you or you have little kids, play with them. Let yourself play with them and, and let yourself really get into it when you're playing with them. Don't just half-ass play with them. Let your little child out because I feel like that's what's missing here. And it's wonderful that you're so responsible. It's wonderful that you're a good person and that you're wanting to move forward. But at the same time, where are you? Where are you? Why is there focus of everybody else? Where are you, my love? Where are you? What's the advice? You're moving forward anyways, though, so please don't feel like... This is actually a little bit of a lighter reading than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm glad I'm not seeing any, like... I'm not seeing any other energies involved or secrets, lies, and deception. I'm just seeing difficult life transitions and being in between two worlds. Um, keep, keep making the decisions that are best for you. Really keep yourself in mind when you're making decisions. Um, because... And don't suppress your creativity. What's the advice, Spirit? Keep moving forward into closure. Keep moving forward, right as I say, no deception or lies. Um, a lot of you could be trying to could be trying to find deception or lies or some of you could be um drinking a little bit too much just be careful of that if that doesn't resonate with you don't worry i'm reading for a lot of people just take what resonates but for some of you i feel like you've been trying to numb yourself out a little bit because of what's going on um make sure that you're just feeling the feelings that need to be felt <laughs> and not trying to avoid them All of this is happening for a reason, my love. And you're going to be your best self because you are determined enough to do it. You have the capability to do it. Okay, let's get a guidance card before I go. What guidance do my awesome, awesome, awesome people need? No, wait, postpone, say no. I think this is talking about you needing to give back to yourself. You are being called to either pause or say no. Saying yes to something that isn't in alignment with you will drain your energy and your time. 
hold out for a congruent aligned 100% yes. Often when we are looking for guidance to make a decision, it can be frustrating not to move into clear considered action. However, timing is everything and not receiving clear guidance is actually guidance in itself. We all go through times known as waiting periods. These times are crucial for our body to regenerate the new path to formulate and the universe to begin creating things on our behalf. You don't need to be plowing forward all the time to move forward. A potent congruent yes when the time is right will put you ahead leaps and bounds. Don't force things now just because it seems like the only option. Take a breather and wait. The waiting is actually very productive for when the time for movement comes, you will be ready to dive right in. Use this time to regenerate and ponder what you truly want. Consider the options. If the options are not clear, don't fear because this time is a gift. Use it to tend to your garden and take a rest, to take a moment from your busy life to clear the decks and prepare for the time in the future. For come spring, clarity will bloom and you will have the reserves, space, and drive to say yes and act and move quickly. Okay, I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye.